there's something about a picnic that makes the food taste especially good. Maybe the fresh air gives you a better appetite. Maybe the sheer bliss of getting away from it all makes the whole system work better. Or maybe it's just the fact that there's so much of nature's goodness wrapped up in a picnic. Whatever the reason, picnics are great fun, but they wouldn't stand a chance of success were it not for the vital role played by that one key ingredient, flour. Whether it's whole meal, brown or white, flour brings all the energy and goodness of the countryside into our lives. It's the base for the sandwich, it's the body of the cake, and it's energy for living. But it doesn't just happen. It's something that's planned and pursued to completion, just as much as any other work of art. One of the most wonderful sights of the countryside, a field of ripe golden wheat. And one of the busiest sights of the countryside, a modern combine harvester hard at work. Here, in the heart of the country, grain that is just brimming with protein and vitamins is harvested in its prime. This wheat has first been carefully selected, checked and given approval by our grain buyers. Now it's on its way to the mill to be turned into top quality flour for use in your kitchens or in the big bakeries. Neil's is one of Ireland's oldest flour mills and one of the world's most modern. And here the wonderful process of transforming the natural whole grain into flour takes place. From the moment the freshly harvested grain enters Neil's flour mill, every step of the process is strictly monitored by master millers, aided by the latest computer technology. And the milling too takes place under the most hygienic conditions. Where else have you seen such shiny floors and such gleaming paintwork? A sample of each batch of grain is sent to an independent laboratory based in the mill for analysis. There it is checked for moisture, protein and gluten quality. If it meets our strict quality specifications, the grain is accepted and offloaded into our storage silos. John, that meets specification. Could you go ahead and use it, please? Thank you. At the same time, the results of the laboratory analysis are entered into our central computer and referred to later when blending different grains to make the grist for a particular flour. Grist is the name millers give to the blend of natural grains just before milling. Years ago, the grain was crushed between two great millstones, like this one, now used merely for decoration. Nowadays, faster, more efficient rollers do the same job in a fraction of the time. Grain from the silos is fed at a controlled rate to the milling rollers. This first stage of milling is called breaking and, as the term implies, is just simply a matter of breaking open the grain to release the fine white flour inside. At this stage there's not very much sign of flour emerging, but by the time the grist has gone through its fourth break, the picture is a little different. After each break, the flour is sifted in these giant machines which work on the same principle as the sifter in your kitchen but on a much grander scale of course. And then the flour is graded. Throughout the milling process the flours are constantly sampled and tested to check that the highest standards are being maintained. This human hands and eyes scrutiny, a unique skill of the miller, ensures such important things as grade, 
texture, purity and consistency. At the same time, samples of the finished flour are taken automatically every five minutes and analysed again to ensure that the high quality standards are maintained. The finished flours are blended into the various types required by our customers. Fine white, which can be either plain, soda or self-raising flour, wholemeal, which as its name suggests, uses all the parts of the grain, including the bran, vital for roughage, and then the various specialist flours for the bakery trade. Again, packaging takes place under the most strict hygienic conditions and ensures that the flour reaches the customer in perfect condition. At Neil's, flour is produced in one and a half and three kilo bags for the housewife, large 32 kilo bags for local bakeries, cafes, restaurants and other food outlets, and 23 tonne bulk loads for the big bakeries. But into them all goes the same high quality grain, the same care and attention in milling, and the same hygienic packaging conditions. But, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So, as well as the strict quality control during manufacture, Neils also continually monitor the suitability of their flowers for commercial and home use in their own test bakery. The test bakery also tries out and perfects new recipes which are then printed on the one and a half and three kilo bags purchased by the housewife. So, whether the flour is being used by the big bakeries for the bread you buy in the supermarket or by the smaller home bakeries for their local customers, or by you at home for your family. You can always rely on Neils for the very best quality flour. We can't always have picnics, but we can always have meals.